Hi everyone, I'm Krista, teacher of Crystal Healing Classes as well as Holistic Healer. And welcome to this episode of Your Crystal Questions Answered. So I got a question from a few of you of which crystals and gemstones are good for recalling dreams. So let's uh, dive into this topic. All right, so when we dream while we're sleeping, our nighttime dreams can be filled with lots of useful information that can help us to navigate our daily activities. Also, while we dream at night, our beautiful, loving, compassionate helping spirits and spirit guides can be giving us messages in our dreams of useful information that we need to know to help us in our lives, to also help us in our daily activities, to help us in our relationships and even with work. But sometimes when we wake up in the morning, we don't remember our dreams and it's like the dreams evaporate out of our minds and then poof, it's gone. <laughs> and sometimes have you ever woken up in the morning and you know that you had a really significant dream that there was good information there and you're like, oh, I just can't remember what it is. So here are my top crystals and gemstones, my top three picks that I like to work with. Now, it is also good to know that these crystals and gemstones that I will be talking about help to enhance the good dreams, help to enhance the healing dreams, and also protects against nightmares. Mm, because I don't think uh, it's always beneficial to remember nightmares, you know, in the morning. Have you ever had a negative dream and then you wake up in the morning and it feels icky to you and that dream is lingering for the rest of the day and it might be affecting your day. So these crystals and gemstones help to protect against nightmares releasing that as well. Okay, and enhancing the good dreams. All right, so let's dive in. So one of the ones that I love the most is amethyst. Okay, so here's a piece of amethyst that I have. So amethyst is so beautiful because it does a few things. Number one, it helps to promote deeper sleep states. It has a soothing and calming effect. So it helps you to ease into deeper sleep. And when you achieve those deeper sleep states, that's where the dreaming happens. And also working with the beautiful amethyst helps to strengthen intuition to receive inner guidance from your higher self in your dreams so sometimes when we dream the wisdom of our higher self can come through and also the energy and messages from your helping spirits and spirit guides can also come through in your dreams. This crystal enhances the third eye chakra as well as strengthening the energy of that chakra to strengthen your intuition and to strengthen your ability to access the wisdom of your higher self through your third eye chakra. And also it strengthens your crown chakra so that you can receive intuitive information from your higher self and receive receive the information from your beautiful loving spirit guides. Also, the amethyst works on strengthening the brain, strengthening memory so that when you wake up in the morning, it's easier to remember your dreams from the night before. Okay, let's talk about the next one that I love, which is celestite. So this is beautiful celestite. This is a really nice light blue. It also comes in a bit of a darker blue. So celestite is a beautiful soothing crystal. It has a soothing energy. It helps you to relax, to unwind, and then ease you into sleep. So this is a really good crystal to promote peaceful dreams and infusing you with healing energy while you sleep. It also helps to open up the channel to receive messages in your dream from your compassionate, loving spirit guides angels, as well as your compassionate ancestors who have gone before you. So like your grandmother or grandparent or an aunt or an uncle or other family member can get you a message in your dreams, a good message, beautiful things that you need to know. So this helps to strengthen that good connection. Also, this helps to strengthen the third eye chakra, also helps to strengthen the crown chakra to receive that intuitive information from your loving spirit guides, from angels in your dreams, from your compassionate ancestors. Also, this helps to store memories 
of your dreams as well. So this helps to boost brain function. It also strengthens memory so that it takes your dreams and stores that in the memory bank of your mind so that you can then recall it later. Okay, so it also is good for that dream recall to call it later as well. And this also strengthens the crown chakra, which the crown chakra, when it's strong and healthy, is also associated with memory and memory recall. So I love this as well. Now, because the celestite has a soothing quality, it also helps to soothe the nervous system. So if you have overactive nervous system, that when you go to bed at night, you feel wound up, revved up, your body's restless, your mind is restless, that energy can then flow into the dream state and create nightmares, okay? Weird dreams, okay, all of that kind of stuff. So this helps to help you relax, to unwind, helping you to have the good sleep, to have the good dreams. Actually, amethyst has a soothing quality for that as well. It does soothe the mind and the nervous system so that the stress energies don't enter into the dream state, creating those nightmares, protecting you from nightmares. So both of these have a calming effect. Okay, so now let's talk about the next one, which I like, which is blue kyanite. So here's uh, the beautiful piece that I have. Blue kyanite, also really good to soothe an overactive mind to help you to sleep, help your mind to be calm, to ease you into the sleep state, to have deeper sleep. This one also works on the mind for memory and recall. So when you wake up in the morning, helping you to recall those good dreams, helping to promote good dreams. It also strengthens communication between you and your loving spirit guides so that they can communicate to you through your dreams. So it works on three chakras, throat chakra, third eye chakra, and crown chakra. So for third uh, sorry, for the throat chakra, it strengthens communication between you and your spirit guide so that communication can flow into your dreams. Also strengthens communication between you and your higher self so that those messages can flow into your dreams. And then also strengthening third eye chakra and crown chakra to open up your intuition, to strengthen the connection to your beautiful loving spirit guides so that their information can come through. This stone also offers protection against negative energy. So I will say this, for some of you that when you go to sleep at night, if you feel that there is negative energy around you, either uh, negative emotional energy from the people that you might live with, it protects from that so that their emotions and stress states are not affecting your sleep, which can then lead to negative dreams, bad dreams, nightmares, so that you have protection from that. And also, if you have ever felt any negative spirits around you, okay, this will offer protection against negative spirits as well, so that you can have a good sleep and have good, beautiful dreams and recall those good dreams in the morning as well. So kyanite has beautiful protection. So what I do is if I have a small stone like this with amethyst, I like to put them under my pillow and sleep with the amethyst. And as I sleep, the amethyst is radiating beautiful healing energy, helping me to have a good sleep, helping me to have good dreams, opening up those good connections to my loving spirit guides so that their messages can come through in my dreams to help me in my daily activities. So this I like to put under my pillow. If it's a nice, soft, smooth stone, this one's a little bit rough. When I put it under my pillow, I don't feel it when I lay on it. This I would not put under my pillow because it has all of these points. Uh, that would be very sharp under the pillow. I could feel that against my head. So this one sits on my bedside table. I also put this one on my bedside table. And even on the bedside table, it will continue to radiate healing energies to me while I sleep. So that is a good way that you can do it. All right, so I would like to hear from all of you. Do you have these three stones in your crystal collection? Have you worked with them for having good sleep and dream recall and preventing nightmares? I would love to hear your experiences. So please leave your comments in the comment section below of what it's like for you working with these crystals. And also uh, let me know, do you have them in your crystal collection? Yes or no? Please type that in the uh, 
comment box. And uh, are there other crystals and gemstones that you like to work with for dream recall? Please uh, type that into the comments as well. I would love to hear that and I would love to open up a little discussion about this. All right, so thank you so much for watching. If you want to go deeper into crystal healing, I do offer live and interactive online crystal healing classes. You can check out my website, learncrystalhealing.com to see my class schedule and to register for classes. If you would like to do a private healing session with me, I do that online on Zoom. You can book a private healing session with me on my other website, kristalin.ca. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Lots of love and light and blessings to you, and namaste.